You can find related tracks in Recordbox on the right side of the screen. This icon over here, when you click on that, you'll see a track list with your related items. Well, uh, but that doesn't work. Uh, it is a little bit counterintuitive. When you go to the left side of the screen, then you'll see also an item that says display related track list. Because what you have to do is define the rules, what counts as a related track, and you have to give that a name. And then when you have uh, give that a name, then you can select it and then it will work. So what we need to do is create a new related tracks item. So click on create new related tracks on this plus icon over here, and then you'll see a screen will pop up. Then on the left side, you can check what needs to be counted as a related item. What, what elements do you want to consider? In this case, it, uh, it is checked. It has checked BPM, but you can also check key year date edit matching history, etc, etc, etc. Now is checked tracks in the same genre. Yeah, it looks at the genre tag of an MP3 file. The problem is, is that it isn't always filled out, etc. Uh, so that doesn't work really well. When I uncheck this item, then only BPM is checked. Now you can specify what it needs to look for. For example, current track, but you can also say within the following range or outside the following range. When I say within a following range, I can specify the BPM between 100 and 120 BPM, but I can also change that. I can say 130 BPM. Uh, let's give it a proper name. It says now 100 to uh, 130, uh, that's okay. And I click okay. Then you see on the left side over here, there is an item BPM, and that's the item, that's the name that I uh, just gave the, um, the related track item. Now it will display all the tracks between 100 and 130 BPM, but um, nothing changed. Why is that? That is because over here is selected A, and A is the first player. You have an A and a B player in the export mode, and in this case, it's now the one player mode, but when I switch to the two player mode, now we have two players. I can select master, so the track that you're currently hearing, so it looks at what is the volume of uh, which deck, uh, let's switch to one track mode and uh, when I click on master and then I go back to, for example, my collection and I drag a track over here and I go back to the related tracks, then you'll see that <laughs> nothing has changed. My hands itch to be on the development team of Recordbox. Okay, when you play a track, then, <laughs> then the, the uh, tracks between 100 and, 100 and 130 BPM, which is probably your whole library, is in here. So it makes much more sense to refine your details. I can do that by clicking again on related tracks and then on BPM between 130, uh, 100 and 130 and click on crud customize the criteria. It doesn't make much sense. What makes more sense is the current track and then, for example, five or 10% uh, slower or quicker. And it says here, including double or half, because sometimes it recognizes BPM wrong and uh, those are twice as fast or uh, twice as slow. But what makes it more useful is to sort on key. So click on key, so it checks this checkbox, and then you can uh, specify the following options, the tracks key or the current key. I keep the current key because that's the current key of the current track. That makes much more sense. And I can select, uh, does it need, need to be the same key, the related key, so the harmonically pleasing neighbor, so 8A with 7A, for example, or 9A with 10A, for example or the related key, and that's much more broader. Uh, I, I won't go into much detail here, but then it crosses the, uh, the circle of fifth. Give it a proper name. For example, BPM plus key compatible. And I click OK. And now you will see over here when I look at the key, that only the songs with a certain key are selected. But now we're talking about this screen over here. But what does this screen do? Well, 
uh, you can browse, for example, your library and then you can browse through your library and then you will see that it will adjust the conditions or not the conditions, but the results based on a track I select here. And then it makes much more sense. Those criteria that you have uh, specified in the related tracks are also exported to your USB drive. So you can also use those on your CDJ. But bear in mind that also here, now the list is selected. So that's the list, this list, uh, or the master, and uh, probably we have to press play again, <laughs> or the uh, first deck, and that's the same as the master right now. I have uh, the cogwheel over here, and then I can customize the criteria of the related tracks item that I specified earlier. It's the same screen. Another thing that you have to bear in mind that is that when you add an item in the related tracks section, that only one item is showed over here and I can't change that. You can limit the search results of the related tracks by clicking on this icon over here next to collection, because when I click on that, I can select a specific playlist or I can select the whole collection. Let's uncheck this and now I select uh, only the folder 2010 and let's click OK. And then you see here multiple playlists. And so it searches through multiple playlists instead of your whole library. When you specify the criteria of a related track item, you can also do some powerful stuff with this because you can also select matching tracks and how matching tracks works. I'll explain in this video here on the screen. There is also the possibility to use my tags and how my tags work. I will tell you in the other video here on the screen.